What is up everyone? Welcome back to another Halo Infinite video. Today we're going to be talking about the best settings you can have. These settings are going to prioritize performance over quality. And of course, this all depends on the type of PC that you have. I'm also going to be providing you with a lot of different tips so you can run Halo Infinite the best way you can. Before I get started, I want to ask you guys for a big and a huge favor. Please like this video, subscribe, and turn on all your notifications for more Halo Infinite videos. Let's get started with video settings. The feel of you, well, this is in a way, is kind of a personal preference depending on how you want to see things. I go probably between 95% to 100%. It all depends. The less you have is the less you're gonna be able to see while you're playing. And the more you zoom out, meaning 100, I mean, you can go even more than that, but it all depends. You might be able to handle that fishbowl, but some people don't, but between 95 and 100, I think that is the perfect setting that you may wanna do because going up to 100 is gonna allow you to see more of the field and it's probably gonna help you out when you are in combat. And it's going to give you that extra little help that you need maybe to just to stay alive or to see someone coming and coming from the sides that will help you greatly, greatly. Now, borderless full screen, I personally, I'm gonna go with off. The reason why is because I want more performance over quality, meaning that I want to have bigger and higher frame rates per second on my game because it gives me the ability and it gives me that power. I would have to say power. Um, to be able to stay alive longer, to fight against others, because my computer is focused more on performance rather than quality. And later on, I'm gonna show you in during the video, what do I mean by that? Let's go into resolution scale. If you are struggling at 60 frames per second, I would just go to 30, but have in mind, going to 30 frames per second is going to have a lower quality of game that you may not enjoy. So if you're able to stick with 60 frames per second, I would highly encourage you to just stay at 60 frames per second. Now we're gonna go to minimum frame rate. We're gonna have that off, minimum frame rate. Um, this all depends on your monitor fresh rate. So it all, this is a personal preference because it's all up to your monitor. V-Sync, I go with off. Limit inactive frame rate, I'll go with off. Now, let's jump into the graphics. Since we're focusing on performance over quality, have in mind that if you have a computer that is pretty powerful, we're talking about maybe a 3080, a 3090, one of those new graphic cards, and you have the latest and greatest uh, chips, then you probably may wanna go a little bit higher on this, but have in mind, this is more for that person that doesn't have such a powerful of a beast, I would have to say, then stick with this one. It will help you a lot and it probably give you a better experience during the game. Now, quality preset, let's go with custom. We're gonna go with low texture filtering, ambient um, occlusion, we go to, we're gonna go low. Texture quality, medium high, geometry quality, we're going to set this one to high because the fewer resources, that you have available for this is going to make your gameplay play a lot better and your textures are going to render a lot faster instead of, you know, taking a little bit longer to do. Consider it going this way. Now, reflections off, depth of field, we're going to go low, shadow, quality, medium. It all depends on you guys want. If you want to see all those little effects that Halo has, like the shadow following you, the white shadow, blue shadow, whatever it is, if you want that, set it to probably higher than medium. If you don't care about that and more about performance, stick to medium quality. Even you can go even too low if you want to. Now, lighting quality, low, volumetric file quality, low, cloud quality, go low. Uh, like dynamic wind, let's go off. Ground cover quality, low. Effects quality, low. Decal quality, low. Animation quality, medium. Terrain quality low, simulation quality low, flocking quality low, and async um, compute. We're gonna disable that because that all depends on your hardware. If you have a base, then you may want to enable that if your computer is able to handle that. So as you see, graphic wise, it just depends a lot on your graphic card. Because if you have a pretty beastie of a graphic card, that means you have a very good computer. So maybe you wanna set that a little higher. And if you don't care about the different type dynamic um, tech and things that Halo Infinite has, then you know, you're fine with this. It's better to get that kill than to look good dying. 
Anyway, so let's keep moving. Sensory, we're gonna go to blur, 0%. Screen shake, 0%. Guys, I like 0% because that makes me a little bit dizzy. I know I don't know about you, but I like to set that to zero. Exposure, we're gonna go 0%. Full screen effect, 0%. Speed lines, uh, disable that. Now sharpening, uh, we're gonna go with 0% as well. Now, let's move into the sensitivity settings. Have in mind that any sensitive settings that you want to apply, it just depends on how you feel about playing the game. If the sensitivities are not good for you, then change them up. But if you want to have a better FPS performance and have a better chance to outperform your opponent, you may want to consider performance over quality because you want to be your best when you're trying to fight against someone instead of looking good. So anyways, guys, those are probably the best settings you can have right now as Halo Infinite has been released for season one. If this changes later on, I'm gonna update this video and let you know more about it. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you have any suggestions, please do let us know in the comments and I'll see you there with any suggestions. So that way we can talk about it and just, you know, help each other in the community. Well, anyways, guys, this has been Tron and I'll check you guys out on the next Halo Infinite video. Peace.